on guys I am back and I just wanted to jump on here uh, today I had another uh, sorry about that the dog is biting my charging cord on my phone yeah that's what happens when you have little puppies right all right so going back to the topic I wanted to as I go on my journey of self-actualization I'm reading the book by Abraham Maslow and so far I'm halfway through it. it's powerful and really powerful I mean things that we should have been taught in school, but obviously school is not trying to have us self-actualize. Uh, they want us to be working for other companies or be working slaves, right? But whatever your belief may be, but I'm not sure why we never read this book, but this book is very powerful. So the whole concept of the book is actualizing and being who you were supposed to be and, and being that everybody has their own abilities, um, actually realizing them and putting them to good use in the world and being able to offer it to the whole world and in the process you'll be fulfilled you'll be more productive and more alive as they say but um, I think that's something that you have to find within yourself and I think when you start realizing that everything starts coming uh, I would say in syn synchronicity or synchronicity like everything just starts aligning with itself and you have this different vibe about you different energy uh, like I was talking about yesterday about vibrations um, you're just more alive more awake more energized there's no Monday to Friday there's no weekend you can work all day 24 7 if you have to because it's what you're meant to do and uh, the interesting thing is um, me working on my channel working on my page and my website um, I'm always I can go on for six seven hours in the weekend straight without any breaks and obviously with the family coming in but the family uh, goes away for a while and they let me work I'm working and I'm still my energy hasn't been depleted meanwhile sometimes I go to work and go to a regular 9 to 5 I see a lot of people they might work 2-3 hours into the day and they look like shit sorry for the say but they look like shit they look exhausted and it's only been 3 hours so um, reading this book is really really powerful because it's, it's kind of makes sense that when you're not doing something you're supposed to be doing or aligned with or what you're meant to be doing you're not being used properly in this world your energy your vibe your your whole existence here is not being used properly so meanwhile your body's fighting it because you're fighting against your body to do something you're not supposed to be doing um, you know granted we have to go do jobs that we don't have to, that we don't like in the beginning to make money and at the end of the day money does pay the bills and money does pay our rent and utilities and shelter food so we do need it but I think in the process we have to be able to wake up a little bit and, and see what it is that we really love doing like what gives us the most excitement and do that a little bit more often and still go to your job obviously in the meantime but your purpose should be or your goal should be to find out how you can monetize what it is you like to do and which is the process that we all doing here um, and eventually being able to do that full time and just doing it for the for the fun of it and being able to help others do the same so that's the whole goal you know you, you want to go back and and get those people that are stuck in those jobs that they'd hate and get them to be able to be aware which is self-awareness comes all into the same perspective that we have to be doing what we meant to do to do in this world we all have our own gifts so in the book going back to the book sorry i got i got sidetracked but he says um our fear of being successful it's a it's a it's a big fear that we probably see visions that we have throughout the day you might have those deja vus it's it's because it's already in you you have these visions and none of you guys can see it just I'm saying nobody else can see it but yourself and however stupid the idea may sound however you know out of whack it may sound it's only yours and it's gonna be like really hard to prove it to other people but go into it knowing that they can't understand it and I used to get really frustrated because I felt like I have all these visions and all these ideas and people never understood them and I felt and I would get angry you know I still get a little bit angry but I come to my awareness that they're not gonna understand it they're not at that level yet once you get to that awareness level it's hard to go back and you then have to understand that everybody else has their own timing and their own process and we just got to be more accepted or acceptance have acceptance of other people for their you know lack of vision or lack of 
desire. You know, the desire is there, but they might not really care for it because they're comfortable. So he states also, the fear of being successful or actually the fear of, you know, of actually the unknown and then the safety. It's that balance. Like, do you stay with the sa- with secure and safe, which what you think is safe, or do you learn more and learn more by yourself and go to the to the vision of that you're supposed to be doing but it's unknown because you don't know what it is that you're going after you're just going after your into you know you're going with your intuition and in the other youtube channel Kyle Cease kind of says that you just go with your intuition and let go of control what it is that you're trying to portray just go with whatever comes up to your mind the first thought and we kind of always put that in the back and myself included and my purpose of this video is to basically tell everybody that's watching it that if you have that little voice inside of you telling you to do something else, do it. Because that is the right choice for you. Not by, It might not be for anybody else, but for you. And you know, the whole purpose of this vlog and this channel is basically to try to have everybody in the same like-minded and everybody's you know evolving and everybody's actually being who they're supposed to be. And then everybody will be happy, you have more energy, we're... We're all collaborating. We all coming with the same mindsets, and you're able to help other people. They help it help you. It's it's a collaboration when everybody's following their purpose. If somebody's not doing what they really want to do, they're not gonna look at it as a collaboration. They just look at it like a competition and who makes more money and and that whole that messes up the whole vibration of the whole concept. So um, again, I got sidetracked. Sorry about that. Um, besides that, it also states that. The, the hardest thing to do is for a man to be to understand himself um, let me see real quick let me just really quote it sorry because I know I know it says something like that but it states here uh, to it was stated by Sigmund Freud sorry he, he he quotes him saying to be completely honest with oneself is the very best effort a human being can make so it's a very tough question to be you know to ask ourselves are we really being honest with ourselves? Is this what we're supposed to be doing? Are we following the right path? Am I am I following my, my, my calling? Am I doing something I love? Am I just doing it for the money? Am I just doing it for the fame or for the for the all materialistic things that come with it? So these are all tough questions to ask yourself, but none of us really stop and question it. And if we do, we just put it in the back end and say, hey, it's not really important. I gotta go after this money. Follow the money, as they say. That's great and all, but how about in the process you lose yourself following the money you know I lost myself in corporate world you know I didn't know who I was you know I was working 10 hours a day um, making great money great benefits but I had no time for myself to find out to evaluate myself to sit down with myself and find out where it is that I wanted to go what was my purpose here in this world and how was I able to con- contribute I was contributing but at a, at a different at a level that wasn't supposed to be for me I was told by society and I was told that that was the best path for the most money and all of those that you guys might I know it was finance and you know a lot of money in that field but I believe I believe if you don't really like it sorry about that that's the door um, I'm gonna cut this video short um, stay tuned for my next video and be honest with yourself guys ask yourself the question is it where you are right now is it where you want to be all right guys thanks.